All right. All right, got a copium in my system. Let's talk about uh, AQ2 data to start off this news video today. I like how the uh, character's face looks like it's falling off of the head in the background. But anyway, let's uh, let's play this GIF. It goes through the inventory system, which isn't an image this time. It actually uh, looks like it's an engine. Uh, based on the GIF, I don't know, GIF, I think GIFs run at a lower frame rate, so probably shouldn't be judging, but it's kind of laggy a little bit. Might have been better to upload a video of this, but anyway, it's Twitter, so it's going to look bad either way, uh, quality-wise at least. Uh, the actual inventory itself looks pretty decent. Uh, I think they're wasting a bit of space up here at the top. I like there's a search bar. That's really cool. Uh, but with the inventory and the plus thing there, that's a lot of... That's like... That's a good amount of it being wasted when you could have more slots to actually show the items you're trying to click on. And that comes with someone with the 300 out of 300 inventory that's always maxed out, so you know, see more items is always nice in that list. Anyway, uh, the background there looks kind of bad also with the, just the light behind the item and not actually showing the item. So uh, they got feedback from this, like I just gave, uh, and they changed it up a little bit. Here's what it looks like with the change up, just an image, not a, a GIF this time. But yeah, it still looks kind of the same, but kind of different at the same time. So you see there's a weapon ability slot there. Uh, that's an interesting thing. With with being able to slot in abilities as well as having a locked one to the item, that actually matches the art of the item. Which the art of the item looks like AQ uh, 3D art, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I don't really like this AC logo with the... Uh, dragon in the background. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think it's overly designed uh, And it, there's a few other things I can nitpick like the the, uh, the What do you call it? The saturation the color on the backpack looks really uh, really grim really drab Color wise with that they chose for the colors and like the black outline on the dragon on the left there looks Really bad. I, I don't know. It just looks it doesn't I don't know. It doesn't look that good to me. Anyway, and that's about all I have to say about the inventory system. It's cool they're showing it off. And I'm sure they'll iterate on it more and more as time goes on. Even after the game is released and we can actually play it. They'll probably still be making changes to it. So, yeah, good to see and can't wait to see more, hopefully. Alright, out of the realm of fantasy, that is AQ2D or AQ Mobile. That will be on PC, by the way, as well. The same client, kind of the same way AQ3D is for the AQ2D. But, yeah, anyway, into AQ Worlds news here. Now the train map looks sick. Krulong actually made it, which is good. Apparently he's been making a lot of the map art recently, which is good Good to know. And, and uh, yeah, so you can see a bit of this here with the moving map. Got a Kataro NPC, uh, some enemies with some armor some, and uh, looks like energy, like rail gun sort of things. So it's pretty cool actually with the Crystals logo on them. And uh, Alina wearing a new armor as well as hairstyle. And I think that item might be available to farm right now that she's holding in her hands. Anyway, cool looking map. And it's for the Chrysalis event that's coming very, very soon. So yeah, good to see. More on that, uh, we get a closer look at the armor there that uh, Alina is wearing. Uh, with the freckles and the face and all that. Really cool looking armor. Uh, that's It's actually the armor that was shown, uh, the blacked out one from before. If you're wondering what that one was, that was uh, tweeted out from Kotaro, uh, I think, last week. In last week's news video. So yeah, that's the armor you're seeing right here which uh, looks really cool. The male version is uh, not the same as the female version on this, from what I know, but uh, you'll have to wait and see for that one. I don't think that's been shown yet. Also, from this tweet, uh, yeah, there's over 60-plus items arriving tomorrow night. So, yeah, really cool. And even more coming next week as daily login gifts. So, I think the number is close to, like, 90-ish uh for the total uh that, that includes all the artists not just kataro's art so yeah that's pretty cool and uh yeah expect uh, quite a few items in the release tomorrow and from the, the map with the train this train map looks sick so yeah it should be a pretty cool event tomorrow kataro tweeting out a new set also uh, i'm pretty sure this is going to be included with uh the uh like close to like over 60 items yeah Tattoo sick there. You got the nice dress. Apparently there's a pants version of this outfit too. I don't know if the pants version is for the left or the right one. They both look really cool. So, you know, I'll take either one. But it's cool cool to have a pants version. So there will be a, t a pants version. Yeah. So, yeah. Really, really nice to see there. I haven't seen the pants version yet. I would like to see it. That'd be nice. But anyway, uh, yeah. Good to see. And I'm sure, well, I'm sure we'll see it tomorrow. Even more stuff from Kotaro. I think this is for the release tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So, 
Oh, I, and I'm sorry for making you hungry. Ooh, that looks good. Anyway, but uh, yeah, cool hat and all that stuff. So yeah. Also a bag. I think you can hold this thing as an item. I, uh, pretty sure crap has something to do with it as well. Yeah, or maybe not. I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I think Crab did make a little bit of art for this release. I might be wrong about that. But uh, yeah, I'll have to wait and see for that. Holoborn gear from Lei. Or who else would be making Holoborn gear? But anyway, uh, yeah, I really like the top on the female version. That looks sick. It would be cool without the uh, with a different bottom on that, in my opinion. I think that would be really neat. But anyway, yeah, either or. Yeah, pretty sick stuff. It's probably always, whenever they do a male ver uh, armor that doesn't have a top, it's probably always a challenge to figure out what you want to do for the female one, but yeah. Uh, and I think this is part of a set that we saw last week in the news as well, with the, some cool weapons that were included with that. Lei worked with uh, August on this armor, making like a different version of it, which uh, looks rather neat. Then with some uh, pride stuff, uh, concepts, so all the rainbows and all that stuff, I really like the face paint, I think it's really cool looking there. So yeah, cool set nonetheless. Also kind of related to that, some casual attire uh, as well with some really nice hairstyles like the two, uh, what do we call it, the twin buns or whatever on the female one with the little hearts. Really neat. And uh, yeah, the black t-shirt. I, I kind of wish it was a black t-shirt for the female as well, but uh, the crop tops, all right. Can't, can't complain there. But anyway, yeah, some cool outfit ideas there from Van. As well as some, uh, some ceremonial attire. Uh, yeah, this I think is related to Filipino in Independence Day. Uh, which I think this gear might be in game or is going to be in game really soon. I know there is a bunch of it already in game, but yeah, pretty cool. More casual wear, nice. This time from Sefi. Uh, love to see it. I'm not too sure what the little black uh, line there is under there. If it's supposed to be a shadow or what that is, but that looks a little odd to me. It's kind of like the same color as the belt, but uh, I don't know. That might be something I'm just not aware of. Anyway, yeah, cool stuff though, nonetheless. Sefi also working on uh, kind of like a Nolgath looking. Uh, like milt art style sort of uh, outfit, which yeah, it's pretty nice. I really like the uh, scythe, the dragon head on the scythe. Love when they do that. Really nice concept from Portage here. The colors and everything with the like the flow. It's got really really cool, really cool vibe to it. I like it. The alchemist concept inspired by the Hollowborn faction from AKA Dino. Uh, yeah, I think I've talked about this on the previous news videos, but there's a little update on it. Yeah really really nice I, I really like this quite a bit it's good it's exactly what like this sort of edgy stuff should look like it looks really yeah fits it really well hmm. more casual wear oh i'm always happy to see the casual stuff uh anyway yeah so this is from august of course he says uh final casual fit for now he said that and then like the next day he uh he tweeted out this all right well <laughs> it seems like i lied he did he lied to us Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, even more casual. Wear. Love to see it. Very good. Hikari with some progress. I feel like we've been seeing a little bit of progress every week on this for the past few weeks, but yeah, that looks like it's about finished and uh, looking pretty good. Also from Hikari, a cool doodle, little concept, I'm sure, for an uh, outfit he probably wants to make. Also, right there. Ooh, yes, very nice. <laughs> anyway, yeah, good stuff there. And uh, yeah, cool concept. Maybe we'll see it as a flash set in the future. Steve, uh, who's been making a bunch of cool stuff recently, to be honest, uh, with some old hair concepts that he's kind of revamping, which, yeah, these all look really cool, really nice. I love two-tone hairstyles. Be cool to see more. There's actually one you can get as a drop right now in the in the game, which is really nice. Although it's not exactly two-tone, it's like color changing in two-tone. An armor from Steve as well. Uh, and then a different one that looks kind of using the same color scheme, but a different one. As well very nice looking and yeah last up another valorant character phoenix this time uh this is a kind of like a concept drop i'm sure we'll do a more finished version of it if people liked it so yeah cool stuff there it's actually surprised so many people uh recognize the valorant character and liked it from the last week's videos so yeah cool stuff barely missed a set from entism last week i was like uploading a video as he posted it but anyway so yeah, an alchemist with a cool fire sword and everything, you see the animation for it. Yeah, really, really neat set there that is finished from Antism. So they're doing a little challenge to get likes on the AQ3D Facebook page by using AQ Worlds players, because I guess that's the only people that would like the AQ3D webpage would be AQ Worlds players. Anyway, I'm not too sure why, but anyway, 
Uh, so you can get different weapons in AK Worlds for different milestones. Uh, there is also a time frame for this, uh, 14 days. So, and this was posted on the 4th, so like last week at this point. Uh, and so, yeah, so I think there's like maybe 10 days left or a little less than 10 days. Uh, their page is at 44,000 right now. So they have another few thousand to go until they get to 50. So they might hit 50, maybe. Uh, but yeah, these items don't look like something an AQ Worlds player would like if uh, Elena's watching this and wants to know how to actually get more likes on the Facebook page. They just don't look like I, I, items like I, I, if I, yeah, if I didn't have to go to this page to like show how many likes I had for this video, I wouldn't have liked it to be honest. It wouldn't be worth the, the click because these items don't look like uh, stuff I'd actually want to be honest. And the last one on the right, it looks like one of those uh, JPEGs. Uh, and that's just speculation. It might not be. It might not be. It might just be the weird how the stroke thing works with the in Photoshop there. But it does, from looking at the stroke, it looks like something that they manually took a picture of and turned it into an AQ item. And those are the worst Adventure Quest World items. They look so bad. I don't know why they even let any of them in the game. It's actually, it's just, it, it looks like a weird, like, modded, hacked item that someone, like, loaded into the game that shouldn't be there. But it is. And they have a bunch of those. There's like a whole map based on it. But anyway, anyway, not, not, not to get into that rant. Anyway, but yeah, it's there. Do it if you want. I spent way too much time ranting about that. It's probably good that the items are probably things that players wouldn't want because we, they might not ever hit the 100k anyway. So whatever. Uh, here, Adam A1A tweeted out this, that there is stuff in the game right now, Battle Under B, that you can get. There's three new uh, Insanity variants. So three different variants of this weapon you can see right here. You can go grab those right now available also also this stuff uh this is from laguna beach and an armor weapon hat all that stuff is available go get it it'll be there until the june 30th so yeah make sure you grab it in seasonal lows so it will be coming back it's not a rare rare item uh, there's also helmets in the same place seasonal as well uh, a cassette player which will be rare i'm pretty sure yeah i think it is i think it's a rare but yeah cassette player it doesn't look like any cassette players I've seen. They usually had the buttons for play, pause, rewind, and like yeah, all that, and like uh, put the tape back to start. It just has like a tuner thing. It's like a and yeah. Anyway, it looks kind of weird for a cassette player. Maybe it's a different one than ones I have seen. But anyway, very cool hairstyle. I'll definitely pick out. It's, I think it's the female one's based off the Baleen hairstyle. I think. Uh, now the part that's like blue and green right there, that just changes color on its own. And then the uh, brown part is color custom hair color uh, from what I, uh, from what I, yeah, color shifting. It's not color custom, but yeah, still very cool helmet and it is going to be a rare. So make sure you pick it up. This bow will actually be gone on Saturday. Uh, so if you're watching this on Thursday, you only have a few days. Make sure you go grab it ASAP. Uh, if you like the bow, I do think it's a cool design for the bow actually. So yeah, go pick that up in Willow Creek. And to end off this news video, uh, yeah, Miltonius has been working on a game. Miltonius is the person that made most of the art for early AQ. Like if you played AQ 2008, 2009, 10 uh, through 12, I think, 12 or 13. Yeah, that's a lot of his art was the stuff that was in the game or at least what the game kind of art style is based off of is Miltonius's art. So yeah, uh, he, he's actually going to be an open testing uh, for his new game. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. It's not related to AQ or anything, but I thought I'd just throw it in this video in case you were unaware. Uh, the This tweet will be in the description of this video if you want to go follow him on Twitter or whatever. So yeah, cool stuff there. So I just throw that in. Hey, big thanks to all the channel members for supporting the channel, making videos like these possible. A huge shout out to them. So yeah, thanks. And thanks for watching this video. We'll be live with the Christmas event tomorrow checking that out and uh everything that's in there all those 60 plus items so yeah it should be cool tomorrow we'll follow the drops and stuff like that on stream so coming out if you want to on the stream tomorrow around uh, 3 p.m pst six o'clock server time so yeah see you there and uh thanks for watching leave a like comment down below all that stuff that helps with the video Bye bye